It's time for the score. The most in-depth coverage of high school basketball. The score. Sponsored by Carpetland USA, Menards, Midwest Bank, and Western Illinois University. All right, we're going to go start right at the dog pound. 11 and 2, North Scott visiting 10 and 3, Bettendorf. Oh, third quarter, second, third quarter in this one, it's close as Coach Odafe hits a triple, 39 36. More from Bettendorf, and it's Odafe again. Besides, yeah, I'm just going to hit another one. 45 38, Bulldogs are starting to pull away in this one, but North Scott says, oh, not so fast. We have a freshman, Josiah Harrington. Hits a three from the corner to cut it to 49-41 after three. He would hit another one in the fourth quarter to get a little closer, but eventually it all comes down to their senior leader, Caden Wilkins. Nice little pump fake. Knocks down this shot, 51-46. And then a little pull up here, crossover, hitting the jumper in the paint. Bettendorf with a big win. They're now tied for first place in the MAC with a 73-55 win. Yeah, I heard there's like a four-way messy tie, but that's kind of the way the Mac's been all season long. I mean, there's just so many good teams. It's hard to win, you know, three, four games in a row. There's just really good basketball teams and coaches in the league. Our defense has really, I guess, taken a step up a level from just like good to becoming excellent and hopefully becoming just great. It's huge for the momentum, and uh, we knew we we had a lot to handle tonight and that they're a really good team, and we were going to – we were going to need a good game to, to beat them, and we got punched in the mouth in the first quarter, but uh, we switched up our coverage and responded well, and I was really proud of the guys for not, not sitting down after getting hit in the mouth. So, Hey, another great matchup in the MAC. Assumption hosting 10-3 Pleasant Valley PV with a nice start. Koi Kipper to Caden Rubel. He buries the three. Pleasant Valley up three early on. Assumption coming right back. It's Navon Shabazz. The nice dribbling right here. He pulls up. How about a deep three? Ooh. It's just a two-point game assumption. Back within two. Pleasant Valley answers late first quarter as Caden Rubel buries another trifecta. Rain in threes, 18-11 after one. Second quarter, it's Shabazz to Raylan Thompson. He throws down the big dunk. Knights within five, but Pleasant Valley just too much in this one. Rubel goes with the pretty reverse along the baseline. PV up by seven at that point. We'll show you a final score. PV wins this one, 65-47. They're now 11-3 in conference play as well. More great action. We'll head over to Davenport North. Battle of Davenport, Battle of Bryan Stocking. North and West going head-to-head. -head. Devontae Bradford to Idris Thomas. Spins and scores. West with a big lead. Later, it's Bradford with the full court pass to Keelan LaCourse. He buries the long three. It is 36-15, West up by 21. More from the Falcons. Bradford comes down the court, fakes, spins, Ooh, nice. makes the nice layup, loses his glasses in the process. He picks him up because West about to see a victory. North tried to stay close. Chris Moss gets to the top, drives, gets the six-footer to fall. But this one goes the way of the Falcons. 79-61, your final score. Hey, let's go over to George Marshall Jim for Downport Central hosting Clinton. Picking this one up first quarter. Tyler Daniels for Clinton. Nice little pump fake. Hits a little fadeaway jumper. 8-7 Central in front. Then the Blue Devils crank it up. On the fast break, it is Elias Vargas. The layup and the foul. It's a six-point game. Next trip down. Carter Light in the corner. Three ball. Corner pocket. 18-9. And then... Check out Reese Hayes. Gets his defender in the air, gets the bucket. 21 to 9 at that point. Davenport Central goes on to win 73 to 33. More scores from the Mac. It is Central Wake going on the road, picking up a five point win down at Muscatine. Hey, let's go to the Big Six co leader, Rock Allen. Getting the early lead at Geneseo as Desmond Jackson skies for the rebound, gets the putback, and a five point lead. Leafs. Turn to Owen Parker. He's working hard in the paint. He'll go off the glass for two. The bank is open in Geneseo, and the Rocks start to pull away. Great ball movement. J.B. on Clark Pugh gets three the old-fashioned way. Next up, it would be Braden Marshall getting three the new-fashioned way. 
It's a 16-point advantage for the visitors, and Rocky's pressure pays dividends. Jackson, the steal, and the flush to push it to 20. And you all knew K.J. Lamont is involved at some point. Smooth along the baseline for the lay-in. Rocks roll to an easy victory in this one, 85-237. Moline looking to remain in the conference race. Hosting Galesburg. Third quarter of this one, Maroons with the lead, adding to it. Braden Freeman to Trey Taylor. Sights, shoots. Bullseye, 14-point lead for the Maroons. Next trip down, it's the younger Freeman looking really good. Spinning and scoring inside. Looking like big brother Owen right there. It's a 16-point advantage. More from Moline. How about Marcus McQueen coming up with the steal? He goes coast to coast for the easy lay-in. The lead swelled to 20. Galesburg. Trying to hang tough, Eugene Williams and steal and lay up down at the other end. That kept the streaks close, but this one, all Moline. It's Vinny, I'm gonna let Cuff say his last name. Acha Humbeda. Nailed it. Finding Trey Taylor, I'll get the easy one. Nailed that one as well. Yeah. This one, all Maroon, 70 to 38. Here, final score. Sterling looking to maintain its winning ways at home as they face all men. Opening quarter, no score. Andre Claver finds a teammate, Jimmy Wadsworth, and he'll lay that one up and in for the first points of the game. More Sterling, they're up 5 0. Claver still sharing this time to Lucas Austin. The big man can shoot the three. He's also going to go play Division I football. It's 8 0 at that point. All men looking for a little traction. Gavin Aubrey to Jack Went. Freshman. Freshman hitting the three. 8 3 at that point. Sterling goes on the win, 69 to 42. Hey, one last stop. Everyone's still chasing points. Not everybody, Rock Island, right I there with them. I want to see this in person. You know, I saw it once. It is pretty cool. UT saw a lot of Quincy tonight, though. Hanging tough, though. Dominic Roden with the baseline jumper. Panthers getting a little closer. Max Coglin, the look inside to Sincere Simons for the nice turnaround jumper right there. UT getting closer as Simons goes right down the lane. Lays it up and in, but we'll show you a final. This one, all Quincy. So it's Quincy and Rock Island tied atop the conference. Each of them have just one loss. More basketball in Illinois. AJ Johnson, or Alex Johnson, I should say, leading Sherrard up against Erie Prophetstown. Owen Fender, the nice pass to Ry Ryland Carton inside. Then it's Holland Anderson missing the three, but the rebound goes to Brody Bender, who puts it back up and in. And then more from Sherrard. It's Jeremiah, or I should say Erie Prophetstown. Jeremiah Kochaver, who hit the three earlier this week, that buzzer beater. He got a much easier three right there, but this one all Sherrard, 55-41. Your final on that one. Riverdale playing four close games in a row, hosting Orion. Third quarter tied at 32. Lucas Dunlap, the layup. Orion ahead by two. Riverdale responding as Jake Willems gets the bucket. That'll knock things up at 34. Later in the quarter, Riverdale down three. Dawson Peterson finds an opening and scores. Rams down one. And then all of a sudden they're up by two and Maddox Arnold hit the three, putting the charges ahead. This one goes to Riverdale, 76 to 64. Newman and Hall colliding up in Sterling. Newman with the lead in this one. Hall looking to answer back, or I should say that was Newman. Dax Snyder with the bucket inside. Comets up big, Hall looking to answer. Anthony Riesler, the inbound to Giovanni Garani for the bucket. This one though, all Newman as Wyatt Windoff passes to Evan Bushman. Cut to the basket for the layup right here. We'll show you a final. This one goes the way of the Comets, 60 to 44, your final in that one. We have reached halftime. Oh, we haven't reached halftime. My fault, Cuff. Morrison and Newman. That bucket down and good for Tyler Finnegan. Tyler Finnegan. More for Morrison as Deshaun McQueen gets a put back. And then Brady Martin. And Deshaun McQueen again will pass to Carson Straining. This one will eventually get a layup. And then it will be Monmouth, Roseville's Tyler Finnecum again knocking down a three pointer. This one goes to Morrison, 64 to four. We're going to try to go the whole show without seeing Corey and myself. We'll be right back right here on the school. My name is Owen Freeman with the Iowa Hawkeyes, and when I'm back in the Quad Cities, I make sure to watch my Moline Maroons on the score.